This is a pre-market gappers scanner. It's going to show you all the stocks that are up the most before market open. This is a great way to set up your watch list for potential day trading setups throughout the rest of the day. And it's really quite simple to build, the meat and potatoes of it being this study filter that is the after hours percent change. You can turn this on in Thinkorswim by going to add filter in the top right, choosing the study type, and then using this drop down, you can go to price performance after hours percent change click on that the way i personally have mine set up is i want to see stocks that the close is greater than of course 10 percent in after hours trading the next step is you need to add the mark percent change column to your results not the percent change the percent change column in thinkorswim does not incorporate pre-market and after hours moves only intraday gain so you need to add the mark percent change column sort ascending top down by that that way the stocks that are up the most in pre-market appear at the top of your scan results if you're interested in any of the scanners we cover in today's video they are all available for easy import on my website daytradingstrategies.net but i bring this up now actually to talk about columns in your scan results like we just talked about the mark percent change column for the pre-market scanner that's not actually the column that i use to sort that scanner by i use a custom built column that shows us the relative five minute volume and strength so that i always know which stock on the list is moving now rather than just which one is up the most in pre-market but that's not the point of this video today's video is going to be actually covering and building the scanners together maybe there'll be another video for my five favorite scan columns or something but i just wanted to let you know that one those are also available obviously on daytradingstrategies.net and two the columns that i will be telling you about in today's video may not actually be the best they're just the best that come default within thinkorswim i'm not going to dive into my custom built columns in today's video next up we have the reversal scanner everybody's goal is to buy low sell high but you have to be smart about it how can we quantify a way to buy dips say like these and to also avoid dips like these on the downside well i asked myself this question a few years back and i came up with two rules first off the stock has to be strong in the macro sense in the larger picture the stock must be strong but right now in the more micro much more current sense the stock must be weak so what rules can we build to quantify this what i've come up with is that the stock must be trading above the 200 length simple moving average that is its macro larger picture strength but below 40 on the relative strength index that is its micro current dip so using these two very simple price action based studies we can now determine what are the best areas to buy dips and what are the best areas to avoid so let's hop on over into the scan tab and let's build ourselves a scanner that will return us stocks aligning with these reversal rules once again the meat and potatoes of this scanner we're going to add filter we are going to add a study filter by the way if you're seeing these other stock filter types on my scanners these are all pretty subjective you really just use these kind of stock filters to limit down to only see the types of stocks that you personally like to trade the right price range the right volume the right market cap etc etc the study filter is what's really important here so for this one we're going to hop into the pencil icon because we need to build out a custom code this filter is not available by default within thinkorswim like the after hours percent change filter was we're gonna have to do a little bit of code work but don't worry it's very very simple so first off we want the current candle to be above the 200 length simple moving average so we can pull any of the four data points provided to you by a candle being open close high and low we can pull that information in custom think script code simply by typing in the word thinkorswim makes that price action type coding very very easy so let's say the low of the current candle must be greater than the simple moving average this is the name of the study it is a function so of course we need to open parentheses and then we need to set the length parameter of this study set equal to 200 and obviously close 
our parentheses. That's condition number one. Very, very easy. The current candle, even the low of the current candle, must be greater than the 200 length SMA. And we need two conditions to both be true in order for a stock to appear on this scanner. And the RSI, of course, this is the name of a study function. Of course, this is once again a function. So we need to open and close parentheses. We're not changing any of the parameters of the RSI study. Just leave the RSI study as default. So we don't need to type anything in here is less than the value of 40. That's it. Really simple, very easy to code as we now go ahead and put this on our chart and we run this scanner, we should now be seeing stocks that are aligning with our reversal strategy setup. What I like to do with this scanner, once again, using the columns available to us within Thinkorswim, is I like to sort it ascending top down by volume. Show me at the top of the list which stocks have traded the most volume on the day. That puts right now the number one stock as Carnival Cruise Line, CCL. We go ahead and load in this ticker. We can indeed see this is a currently kind of larger picture macro strong stock trading above the 200 lane simple moving average, but trading below 40 on the RSI. This is a stock aligning with the reversal setup by conditions. Let's take a look at one more example before we move on to the third scanner in today's video, the next is BTI. We go look at ticker BTI. We can indeed see this is a very strong stock. This stock has been above the 200 simple moving average for a long time. You can actually see visually represented here each time it has dipped below 40 on the RSI during this move would have been on the scanner. So it would have been on the scanner here. It would have been on the scanner here. It would have been on the scanner here if my drawing will work. And now, of course, it is on the scanner Hello, Thinkorswim. Now, of course, it is on the scanner again because it is dipping and down below 40 on the RSI. Listen, just like anything else, this is a couple of really good examples here, but just like anything else that I show you on this YouTube channel, if a stock is above the 200 length simple moving average and below 40 on the RSI, does that mean it's going to bounce? No, guys, of course not. This is just putting you sort of in a better situation to be buying a stock. You're going to be doing better if you buy stocks on setups like this versus if you would have been buying the highs or whatever up here. Last but not least, our third scanner in today's video is going to be a continuation type scanner. Basically, we're going to be looking for stocks that have been strong for multiple days in a row. I'm already running the scanner now, and actually I want to start this scanner with looking at some of the results. So the first stock on the list right now is BITF. If we load this up, just look at how ridiculously strong this stock is. The next stock on the list is BBAI. I'll go ahead and load this stock up. Look at how very strong this thing has been over the last couple of weeks. These are the kinds of names that will be returned with the third scanner we're about to build in today's video. So hopping on over into the scan tab, of course, the meat and potatoes of this scanner is that that percent change study is greater than five for three consecutive candles in a row. So obviously, what have we been doing with every meat and potatoes filter of these scanners? Add filter of type study. And this time, once again, we're going to come into the pencil icon. This time, let's use the condition wizard instead of hopping into the code. That way you guys can sort of understand how this part of thinkorswim scanners works as well. So the condition wizard basically takes left side condition, middle comparison operator, right side condition. So, of course, we want to see the percent change study is greater than five. So, we're going to go ahead on this left side, load up a study. We're going to look up percent CHG, and we're going to say that it must be greater than a value of five. Go ahead and set that up. Great. That means that on the current candle, the percent change needs to be greater than five in order for the stock to appear on the scanner. <clears throat> Sorry, there was something in my throat like that entire time I was talking. Hopefully it didn't sound weird. Anyway, we need to go ahead and also obviously set this up offset over the last two bars as well so that that creates three candles in a row in which this is true. So we're just going to simply add a condition and we're going to do the same thing. Study percent CHG. If I can type and talk at the same time, this time we will offset this one by 
One, what this means is this going to look at this value on the previous candle and obviously say that it is greater than a value of five. Yeah, yippee, one more to do. Add condition, study left-hand side, percent CHCHG. Why is that so hard to type? Um, this time, obviously, offset it by two. Look at this value from two bars ago is greater than a value of five. Go ahead and set up your study filter in this way. And now only stocks in which the percent change study value has been greater than five for three consecutive bars in a row will appear in the scan results. The column I'm sorting my results by here is actually once again, just the volume column. Show me the stocks at the top of the list that have been trading the most volume. But actually, I wanna take a second here at the end of the video to give you a little uh, sneak peek into my custom column. So this average distance column is a custom column that I have built, of course, that I actually use when I run this scanner. Now, if I sort this ascending top down, what you're going to be seeing now in this column is the percent distance that the ticker is away from its 200 length simple moving average. So now basically, instead of just randomly, whichever stock has been trading the most volume, you will see at the top of the list, the stocks that are literally the strongest stocks that also align obviously with our scan goals of being three days strong in a row. Right now, the number one stock is Wolf, W-O-L-F. We load this up. We can indeed see just absolutely ridiculous strength in this name. I mean, this stock just went from a dollar and 48 cents. I don't know if there was some kind of split on this day or what the hell happened with this thing. But anyway, it was a dollar and 48 cents. It is now $35. The next stock on the list that has an actual number is TMQ. We can load up TMQ. Here's another one, just a ridiculously strong gap up type name. We'll look at one more before we go ahead and begin to talk about something else. I-R-E-N. And this is this is why I wanted to look at one more. I want to find one that's not just randomly gapping up, but look at how strong this stock has been for a long time. By the way, this stock would have first appeared on the scanner here, right? This is the first time that it got three days in a row above the five value on the percent change would have been about this bar right here. And of course, since then, you have gotten a 250% move. And once again, since you are now using this custom column to sort and find these stocks, you can find even these stocks that align with the goal of being three bars in a row of percent change greater than five, but also the stocks that are the strongest on that list. So you can find the best continuation setups in the market. You can import the custom columns, you can import the scanners that we built in today's video all alongside over 150 plus other custom coded scanners, custom columns, studies, even trading strategies, etc. from my website daytradingstrategies.net. It will be linked in the description down below this video and I'm so confident that once you see the power of these codes that you will really have no choice but to sign up that I even have a handful of codes available on the site for completely free no credit card required you don't even have to make an account literally just go to the website hit explore free codes and you'll have these here and available for you I'm actually going to leverage one of these to show you just how it works so every single one of the 150 plus codes on the site comes with one of these unique TOS share links. All you need to do is copy that URL. Back within your Thinkorswim, you're going to go to setup in the top right corner, open shared item, paste preview, and import the code. Just like that, in about three mouse clicks and in five seconds, you can have any and all of the 150 plus codes imported from my website and saved locally into your think or swim. This stock is so strong, it barely has any signals. Um, but once you do that, you simply run it just like you would any other study, run it just like you would any other scanner, any other strategy, and you can have all of my codes saved locally and running on your own think or swim charts. And if you are truly interested in finding the best stocks to trade every single day, which Obviously you are, you made it to the end of a video all about stock scanners. Really the best place to be is in a live chat room. And I provide one of them as part of my service. If you sign up for the annual plan on my site, you will also get at no additional cost lifetime access to the daytradingstrategies.net 
Discord server. This Discord server currently consists of 827 members. That's a lot of people that have signed up for the annual plan. That's a lot of eyes on the market. People in here are always talking about which stocks are moving. They are using the same codes that you'll be using from the website. So it's a great place to talk about those as well. Just a great little perk that comes if you'd like to sign up and access the codes. If you'd like to get access to every new code, I will add for 12 months. And if you would like to get lifetime access to this Discord server, then check out the annual plan on daytradingstrategies.net. Just scroll down below this video, click the link, go check out the website. Listen, if nothing else, go take advantage of the free codes. But why not? Once again, they are completely free. Maybe read the reviews while you're over there on the website. Help decide for yourself if this is something that could help accelerate your personal trading journey. Sign up today and become a better trader immediately.